Great acts from Harry Houdini to the Allman Brothers have sold out shows at one of the most historic theaters in the country, the Grand Opera House here in Macon. Yeah, but with the decades of history and all that great nostalgia, 41 NBC shows us, and uh, Edna Ruiz shows us that it can take a toll on the building itself, Edna. I spoke to the Grand Opera House executive director today, and he told me he, the Grand needs seats, carpets, restrooms, and one of the most important elements, with summer being right around the corner, is a new air conditioning system. Houdini, uh, in his time. Some of the most well-known acts have taken the stage at the Grand Opera House. To Greg Allman, who likes to come, uh, Allman Brothers actually filmed uh, a concert here in 1973. The Grand was built in 1884 and has been one of Macon's hottest spots since. Uh, we are able to draw people from as far away as Atlanta and from northern Florida. Uh, people love to come up to Macon and, and, and make this a destination because of the shows that we have here. Hundreds of thousands of people have come to the Opera House to see amazing shows. And they've also sat in these seats. But with these seats being more than 50 years old, they've exceeded their lifespan. You can touch the back and the foam has literally deteriorated inside from being so old. The carpet needs to be replaced and restrooms need renovations. Executive Director of the Grand Graham Slayton says what they really need is a new air conditioning system. The AC units currently shared with two other buildings. Because of the way the systems are tied together, it's not unusual for people to be either way too hot or way too cold or both at the same time, depending on where you're sitting. The Grand may be operated by Mercer University, but Macon Bibb County owns the building. There's $1.9 million in the 2018 spots for the Grand. But with the year's hottest days approaching, the Grand is running into a bit of a dilemma. In the summer, that sun beats on the north side of the building and turns it into an easy-bake oven in here, makes it even harder for the system to catch up. Mayor Rickard proposed the Grand Opera House be one of the first three SPLOSS projects to be funded with bond money in Tuesday's committee meeting. The committee decided to table the project. And until they make a decision, Slayton will have to hope for the best. My goal is to get it um, up and operating as, as wonderfully as it can to, to be the biggest benefit to the community that it possibly can be. Slayton says he carved out a 117-day window to get changes done this year. After that, they go right into production. If they miss that 117-day window, the earliest they can start renovations is next summer. All right, thank you, Edna Ruiz, in the studio with us tonight. By the way, the committee will revisit that SPLOSS project once again, and that will happen in the next couple of weeks. A park